Okay, time for the next project. All right, this here guitar was given to me for uh, fixing and working on that Les Paul Jr. So I just did a video series on. And I'm going to walk you through this one as we redo the process. This one is in rough shape. It uh, looks like a kit guitar. And uh, it's got issues. As you can see here, this, the string alignment is way, way off. So that, that bridge and tail base is going to have to come out and they're going to have to be totally redrilled. The neck itself is in really good shape. And uh, other than really scary, nasty looking paint and stuff on the back of it, they even tried to get a little artistic with a horse there. And uh, I have no idea what any of this hardware is. I don't know if it's any good or, or name brand or whatever. So that's what the neck did. Now, what looks like staining and all that stuff is just pure, pure nastiness. It's it's hard to see on the on the light, but that is like all sticky and just yeah. And then see how how much into the finish work they were. <laughs> Where I think they just bought the kit and spray bombed the bejesus out of it. But we're gonna dive into it, sand it all down, and this is gonna be. My pre GGBO, GGBO experiment. I'm going to do a similar paint job where I plan on doing for my GGBO build. So, that's the start of it all. Okay, starting to do the tear down here, and you would not believe it. They painted over everything on this. I had to scrape off, off the glue. They glued in the, the inserts. And spray painted over everything <laughs> man that was brutal so we're going to start tearing down the pickups and all that stuff next and seeing what's underneath and see what they are and then uh, get the electronics out and uh, move up to the headstock I'm not sure how well it's all going to show up you can see all that stuff floating around the air this is why I'm not doing any paint work right now. I really, really, really want to get uh, that wash burn finished up and get that back together again. I really miss playing that one. But this BY, look at all that stuff flying around. Alright, here we are after the first session. I uh, got everything all stripped out of it. Got the uh, all the inserts out since they're going to have to be filled and then re-drilled because the neck is not straight as we saw. Uh, so far the body seems to be salvageable <coughs> and dusty. And uh, the neck is awesome. Cleaned up, uh, cleaned up pretty nice. Get most of the paint off it. Seems like it's pretty level. Um, the hardware on there was uh, looks like uh, this warmoth uh, tuner, so it's probably a warmoth kit. The the neck was all nasty because it was not only was it spray bombed really poorly, but it looked like they uh, tried to 2K clear it and didn't mix it right, and it never cured. Gummed up a ton, ton of, of sandpaper, but. This is what the the back is looking like after the uh, 60, 80, 320, and 220 to get all that gunk and nastiness off it. So it looks like it's going to be salvageable. So something something to play with. All right, that's round one. Okay, day two. This is where we stand. I got the the top sand it out looking pretty good you see there's four different sections in there and 
It looks at almost like all four sections of different pieces of wood. <laughs> so, we shall see what this actually turns out to be, but I'm going to call it a, a morning out here before that sun gets over here and starts heating everything up. I don't want it to start warping stuff on me since there's no tension on it. So, I'll be back later this afternoon when the, the porch gets cool again. I'll do some more. All right, sun's off the porch now, and I'm not roasting to death here. So we'll take a closer look at what we got going on. Still got to uh, hand sand all that around that edge. But I've got all the all the paint and stuff done. There's going to be some filling, obvious that needs to be done. This whole thing needs to be sealed. It's it's really porous wood. So, like any other pre-built prefab kit, they just basically carve the shape and then just drown it in sealer to uh, smooth it out so they can send it down the line for somebody to put together. It seems like it's a pretty well-made kit. You got the binding on it and all that stuff. And uh, all the holes were drilled properly. It's just whoever mounted the neck didn't align it right. So it's 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 pointing off. It's the headstock's pointing lower than it should be, or no higher than it should be because there's a a big gap, a larger string gap here on on the high E than than the low E. Low E was almost actually off the the fretboard as you saw in the first video. But wood looks like it's in in viable shape. There's no no real divots or anything like that. A couple things here and there, but nothing. Nothing some grain filler can't handle. The back, the back cleaned up pretty awesome. And you can see how, how grainy that wood is. So if I'm going to paint this, it needs, it definitely needs to be uh, grain filled and, and uh, sealed before I put any paint on it. So anyway, we're going to move onwards and upwards here. And I'm going to get as much of the, the side sanded off tonight as I can before before it gets too windy and cold out here or, or uh, the sun goes down. So, all right, I'm going to shut this off and get to work.